Introducing a high-performance ultra-telephoto zoom lens that fulfills photographers' most stringent requirements. The Sigma 150 to 600 mm F5 6.3 DG OS HSM sports lens. Flagship of the sports line, this lens delivers the highest level of optical performance. Optical performance. The optical system features two F low dispersion glass elements and three special low dispersion glass elements to minimize chromatic aberration and maximize image quality. In addition, the optical power distribution is optimized to minimize transverse chromatic aberration. Together, these technologies deliver outstanding image quality throughout the zoom range. Outstanding build quality. This lens is made to withstand the toughest of conditions with outstanding build quality. Dust proof and splash resistant, the lens is made for real world conditions. It can even stand up to ocean spray. Zoom lock switch. The new zoom lock switch lets you lock on to a desired focal length for highly stable shooting even when the lens is positioned upward or downward. The lock disengages if the lens receives a shock to protect the switch. A firm twist automatically disengages the lock. Water repellent and oil repellent coating. Water repellent and oil repellent coatings protect the front and rear elements from liquids. The lens can be wiped dry without harm. Manual override. The manual override function allows you to switch from autofocus to manual focus instantly with just a twist of the focus ring, even in continuous AF mode. With the available Sigma USB dock, you can easily customize the degree of twist sensitivity. New tripod socket. We've redesigned the large, stable tripod socket so that it clicks into position every 90 degrees to easily change from portrait to landscape mode. The socket includes attachment points for the available carrying strap. Easy zoom operation. In addition to the standard zoom ring, the push-pull zoom allows you to respond quickly to changing conditions. Made of rubber, the forward section of the lens is easy to grip. The rubber front of the included metal lens hood helps absorb shocks and protect the lens in challenging environments. Optical stabilizer with acceleration sensor. The new optical stabilizer features an acceleration sensor that is activated in a special OS mode and is optimized for motorsports and other fast moving action. The sensor senses the vertical and horizontal position of the camera for more precise, smoother panning. Optimized autofocus. The hypersonic motor delivers ultra-rapid and ultra-quiet autofocusing with enhanced focus accuracy in autofocus continuous mode. Customization. The new lens can be customized for a wide variety of applications. Update firmware and create custom settings for your lens using the available Sigma USB dock and exclusive Sigma Optimization Pro software. Adjust a variety of parameters, such as AF speed and manual override. Custom modes, including focus limiter, optical stabilizer patterns, and more, can be assigned to switches on the lens body. Teleconverter options. The lenses in Sigma's new lines are also compatible with Sigma's newest teleconverters. This ultra telephoto lens gives you the power to capture the very finest images anywhere, anytime.
Good morning. Welcome to Nickerson Beach out in Long Island, New York. My name is Roman Kerchak. I'm a professional nature photographer and Sigma Pro team member. I want to talk to you about zoom lenses for wildlife photography and why I use zoom lenses for my nature photography. I'm going to talk about two new entries into the zoom lens market, the Sigma 150-600 Sport and the Sigma 150-600 Contemporary. These are game changers for wildlife photographers. They're light, they're portable, they allow me to get on a plane much easier than I can with this guy, and I want to talk about the performance and versatility of these lenses and how they're all very different. And we're going to show you the difference between 200 millimeter, 400 millimeter, and 600 millimeter, and why I like hand holding this lens. Most of you are not going to be able to hand hold the sport version of this lens because it comes in at 6.3 pounds. And this one, we like to call it Roman proof. You could get it rained on, dust, whatever. This one can take the beating. But the versatility of all these lenses is what makes them really, truly incredible. We're gonna be out here on the beach in a short while photographing oyster catchers, terns, and skimmers. So I hope you can join me as we go walk around the beach showing you the difference of the focal lengths and zooms. All right, so we made it out to the beach here. As you can see, we got a lot of activity with the terns and the skimmers bathing and preening. So I'd say we're about 50 feet away from the terns and the skimmers. And this is where that extra reach of the 600s is really gonna come in handy. Now we're doing flying birds this morning, so we need a lot of speed and good technique. So here comes a skimmer coming in, and I'm going to pan and follow them. For those of you can't handhold, I would be putting it on the tripod and you can just as easily follow the motion. As you can see here, I've attached the optional TS81 tripod socket. It's only available for the sports lens and it has a built-in Arca Swiss groove in it. It's a very nice accessory for about $240. When you're a wildlife photographer, especially birds in flight, you really need speed. We're talking about one two thousandth of a second shutter speed to freeze the motion because you can have motion blur from them flying, your motion blur and everything else. Right now I'm at ISO 1600 to keep that speed up. As the sun starts to rise, I'm going to drop my ISO, but I'm probably never going to go below ISO 800. When my shutter speed hits 1 3200th of a second or 1 4000th of a second, we're gonna shut it down. The light's too bright and too harsh. Right now we have the beautiful morning light. I have the camera set on AI servo, high speed. I'm going to start tracking the birds as they come from right to left. Here comes a turn diving. And I'm gonna hand hold it comfortably, propped up against me, so I'm acting like a tripod myself. And as they come in fishing, I lock and acquire, and there you go. Now the interesting part about that is those FLD elements are really allowing me to lock and capture. The days of zoom lenses not being as sharp as fast as prime lenses is over. This is not your father's zoom lens. This is a game changer for everybody. So, stabilization. Position one is for when you're hand holding. It's both vertical and horizontal movement. Position two is if you're just panning on the tripod like I am here, but most of the time when I reach a certain shutter speed, I turn it off completely because I'm at one two thousandth of a second with my shutter speed already. That's really gonna freeze my motion as well as the motion of me panning. But I also wanna show you guys some things that you may not know about, and those are the customized settings that you can do from the comfort of your own home. All right, and using these buttons over here, I can turn customization off or set two different settings depending on the conditions that I'm shooting in. Uh, this is unique to Sigma lenses, global vision lenses, and I can set one for focus tracking or one for distance. So if I'm at a sporting event or something else like that, and I know I'm going to be shooting from 20 feet on, I could set the limit switch to that. So this is a very unique and nice way to customize a wildlife lens or sports lens for that matter. And autofocus works equally well whether I'm on the tripod or holding it in my hands. I know most of you aren't going to hand hold it, but these new lenses with the FLD glass track effortlessly. I've ripped off 
20, 30, 40 frames in a row that are tack sharp, all handheld. As you can see here, they have ropes set up that we can't get any closer, so I'm gonna be out at 600 millimeter, hand hold it, start tracking them when they're out of my frame. As they get closer, fire away and it held the focus throughout the entire sequence. And you're talking about a small bird with dark water and I'm able to maintain focus and tracking throughout. Because the birds moved away from me, I went into my bag and I reached for the new 1.4 teleconverter. Sigma makes two teleconverter, a 2X and a 1.4, effectively making my 150 to 600 an 840 millimeter lens that's hand holdable. And oh, by the way, it autofocus with most mid-range camera bodies and definitely with all the pro bodies. So now you have an 800, 40 millimeter hand holdable lens, which is unheard of in the nature business. All right, I've been talking to you about the sport for a while now. Uh, this is actually how most of the time I treat my gear, but I know most of you won't. And that's why I'm gonna switch out to the contemporary. And this is a perfect choice for those of you who treat your gear much better than I do and aren't really worried about it. It's weather sealed, but not nearly as weather sealed at the sports. What's nice about the contemporary is it's two pound lighter. And since I'm gonna be hand holding, I'm going to take the collar off and save myself a couple additional ounces. So let me switch out the lenses here and then we'll get going with the contemporary shoot. All right, so the Contemporary has all the same features as the Sport. What's the difference? Well, for one, I already mentioned the two pound weight savings that you get on it. The front element on the Contemporary is 95 millimeter compared to the 105 millimeter. Performance wise and optics wise, I think they're nearly identical. It has the same stabilization one and two, one being for both vertical and horizontal, two for panning motion. So I'm gonna put it in one because I'm hand holding. And it also has the same customizable features that you get on the Sport. This lens is a joy to hand hold. It's two pounds lighter, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it really makes it effortless to use out in the field. So let's go use the Contemporary for a while. So I pulled out the Contemporary lens now, and lo and behold, a bunch of smaller birds showed up like tree swallows and the terns are feeding their babies. So the flight pattern on the tree swallows is very erratic. Uh, best of conditions, good luck. They fly like all over the place. I am acquiring focus, but realize the smaller the bird, the degree of difficulty goes up. So with the turns and the skimmers, I'm seeming to have better luck. But remember, the smaller the bird, good technique and speed. And take a lot of shots because they don't fly in a regular flight pattern. So yes, I'm on a pro camera body, but I have used this also on the mid-range body. It works equally as well. And let's not forget the Contemporary also works with the 1.4 teleconverter autofocusing in the mid-range body and the pro bodies. So let's go out there and see what else we can do with this. But as you can see, I could probably hand hold this lens all day long without fatigue. The Sport occasionally I'll put down and rest, so I really appreciate that weather seal. That two pound saving really makes a difference between the two. Optically, I think they're very close. And when it comes to tracking and following your moving subjects like flying birds, no problem whatsoever. I hope you see how the Sigma 150 to 600 Contemporary and Sigma 150 to 600 Sport are game changers. The performance, weight, ability to travel with them, flexibility and sharpness are all there in a zoom lens that is unmatched in the industry. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned a little bit about wildlife photography. If you want to see more of my work with the Sigma lenses, Come see me at romanwithroman.com or you want to see the blogs that I post for Sigma, sigmaphoto.com blogs. I've been shooting with these two new Sigma lenses for almost eight months now and have captured an incredible variety of images. The folks at Sigma asked me to put together a collection of my images to show you exactly how well these global vision lenses perform in any weather conditions. Both of these lenses have provided me with top-level professional results with performance and speed comparable to fixed focal length primes at a fraction of their size, weight, and cost. 
They represent a fundamental change to the accessibility of wildlife photography. These aren't your father's zoom lenses and are indeed game changers.